everybody, my name is Jonathan and welcome back to Slender Threads. Last time we left off, we met some of the locals, we had some interesting conversations with them, and we explored the town a little bit, but now we had a radio call our name, and now we have to figure out what the heck is going on. So we busted into this place, I don't know if it's Oswaldo's place, or whose place this is, but it's a little decrepit, and we're gonna explore around a bit, because we have to figure out what that radio is coming I think from. It's broken. Yep, looks pretty busted Doesn't up to me. sound like the radio's in there. I mean, can you tell what the radio sounds like? Did Oswaldo board up his own windows? Why? I don't know, you tell me, man. Maybe maybe something went wrong here. Maybe got evicted. This place is horrible looking too. It's like abandoned. It sounds like it's coming from in there. Ah, uh, yes. It's locked. Why? Uh, I don't know, you tell me. Do we have anything else in here that we can look at? Can we, uh... A radio show just mentioned me by name, but where's the radio? We well, we discovered it's inside the desk now, so that's not too bad. It's filthy, just like everything else in here. Hey, you can't just walk into Oswaldo's home and then just start calling his house crappy and filthy. What kind of a guest are you? This place is horrible looking too. It's like abandoned. Was there a struggle here? Why else would all these chairs be knocked over? I don't know, RV. I don't know. Do we talk to the clock? I doubt it has much to say. Aw, oh, man. Oh, pair of scissors. Nice. Perfect. Um, you have anything to say about that, Harvey? Oh, no, we don't want to use them. I want to examine the scissors. Small and delicate. Cool, cool. Um, anything else about the dining table you want to throw about? Was there a struggle here? Why else would all these chairs be knocked over? I don't know, but I don't know why you also decided to walk around the table. <laughs> you could have just sta like stood here and said everything. Also, can we just talk about our shoes? These look like a pair of socks that you just like walk around in. Hello, Oswaldo? The front door was open. Is everything okay? Besides the stranger in your house, I mean. Yeah, you kind of just invited yourself in here. You are uh, trespassing, so if he comes out with like a, a 12 gauge, it's all over for you, Harvey. <laughs> Lisa, I don't know if I examined the manuscript yet. My unpublished manuscript, featuring my bewildered face on the back. Perfect. I guess that's it. All right, let's go check out what all, all of this mess is. The wall is covered in newspaper clippings, pictures, and scribbles. But why is there a crossword puzzle in the middle here? That is a good point. And what are these paper point. scraps stuck around it? Um, yeah, what is what is this? All right, I'm gonna move this all to the side, which I, which is kind of cool that I can, but it seems like, I don't know how you would, how would you start this? Is this kind of like a, a Tetris thing where you have to fill up the corners and stuff? I don't know, that this is what it looks like, but I don't think that's right. I don't know. That might be here for a while. The remaining letters oh, spell Telltale cool. Heart. In that story, the narrator hides a body under the floor. I hope Oswaldo didn't consider that a source of inspiration. That wasn't too, too bad. It didn't take me that long to do, luckily. Otherwise, I would have been stuck here forever. I would have been so upset if that happened. <laughs> Alright, so Telltale Heart is Edgar Allan Poe, where he hides stuff under the floorboard. So can I do something with this rug, then? There's a crease in the corner of the rug, as if it's been folded up recently. Am I really going to look under there? Uh, I have to, right? Yeah, it would huh? make sense. Something down there is reflecting light from the window. It's a key. Oh, sick. Uh, oh, is this the key for the desk, you think? Let's uh, let's examine this first. Small and ornate. Definitely not for a door. Absolutely right. Okay, no, 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 we got this, we got this. Uh, actually, let me pick it up and we could use this on the desk. This looks like it fits. Stop right there. Whoa. Don't move. Good God, what the hell's going on in here? Who are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is, uh, uh, should I be honest or should I lie? I'm gonna say I'm gonna be Harvey Green. My name is Harvey Green. I'm in town for business. I'm staying over at the- What business? Uh, books. I sell books. I have a card in my pocket. Uh, can I- Slowly. All right. What's all this on the wall? What have you been doing? Nothing. No, I, I, I don't know what any of this is. Bullshit. It's true. Bruh. <laughs> I only walked in. I just got to town like literally like an hour ago and I'm being interrogated by the police. Bruh. Come on, man. You got to believe me. I don't even live here, man. I've only been here for a few minutes. There are newspaper clippings from months ago. Yeah, I've only been here for a few I've minutes. I've been here for just a few minutes. I've been in town less than a day. 
whatever's on that wall, it must have taken weeks. Let's say I believe you. Why are you in here? Someone recommended that I come by. Yeah, the lady down the street told me I should come by. A woman at the hotel suggested I meet Oswaldo. Describe her. Older, dressed like she was at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> That's Gladys, all right. Mr. Green, do you have any knowledge of Oswaldo's current whereabouts? No, Sheriff. Then I have a missing person on my hands. <sighs> Listen to me. I don't know what the hell's going on in this room. I do know that if people caught wind, it'd cause a town-wide panic. So you and I are gonna make a deal. I let you walk straight back to your hotel, and you tell no one about what you saw. Say a word or skip town, and I personally escort you to a jail cell. Do we understand each other? Yes, Sheriff. Good. Now get out of here. Ah, oh, the plot shit, thickens. Shit. Breaking into a house? What was I thinking? Am I losing it? No, I swear I heard my name coming from in there. I didn't imagine it. I, I couldn't have. And even if I did, I couldn't have imagined all that other stuff I saw in there. I, I can't just sit in here and ignore it. For starters, this is the only interesting thing that's happened in months. Well, Harvey's losing his mind right now, actually. Oh, I still have the key? Perfect. I guess I we could sneak back there, but... I don't know what else I do. Maybe I can go talk to Gladys and maybe she can give me some pointers on where to go next. Hasn't been the most successful sales trip so far, but hey, this town might want the whole pile. Yeah, they might want to use it for firewood or anything like that, you know. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I don't think I could do anything else around this area. Oh wait, I can cut the, I can cut this. Not going in there. Bad enough that I share a wall with it. Man, I thought I thought I was being smart. Come on. You gotta know what's in there. You gotta know. This <laughs> this hotel worker has been in there for a while cleaning up that room. Something down and dirty is happening there. Let me tell you that. Alright, let me talk to the manager. He doesn't seem too keen on chatting. Alright. Alright, Gladys. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's up with this town. Enjoying your stay, dear. Um I went to Oswaldo's. I there we go. By Oswaldo's house. Oh lovely, dear. How is he? He's um, He's dead. He was uh, out. You creative types are always off making mischief. <laughs> what are you talking about? I literally just went over to his place Take and he was gone. Dude Venistod. Let's go see what's past that area, I guess, right? Or do you think we can go back into it? If we can go back into it. Ooh, boy. I'm gonna use that key. Oh, yeah, speed walk. Can I still cross the street yet or no? Watch it, buddy! Hey, man. Not cool, bro. Not cool. How are you doing, officer? Oh, mind me, I'm just strolling by. There's a mannequin back here. The window. Looks like it's locked from the inside. Oh, interesting. Oh, that must lead to the bathroom. Or, I guess. Huh, that's a whole mannequin. A little beat up, but it's in one piece. Maybe I could clean it up and sell it. <laughs> sure, Oswald, just take the whole mannequin. Just, just you know, shove it into my, my backpack or my pocket over here. A whole ass mannequin. <laughs> All right, officer, let's, let's chat with you. What are you up to? Good evening, officer. Evening, Mr. Oh, uh, I don't believe we've met. My I'm... name's uh, Hugo. Victor Hugo. I'm a tourist. A tourist? Huh. We don't get many of those. Well, welcome to Villa Ventana, Mr. Hugo. Stay out of trouble and all that. Yeah, what happened in here? Is this neighborhood safe? I saw a creature in the woods. Let's, uh, let's go to the well, first one. What happened in there? I'm afraid I can't comment on that, Mr. Hugo. Scene's still under investigation. As in crime scene? Well, that's what the sheriff's gonna figure out in the morning. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said that even. Ooh, he leaked information. Uh, is this neighborhood is it safe? safe for me to be out at this hour? Are you keeping out of the crosswalk over there? Uh, yes. Then you're fine. What's so dangerous about it? I wish I knew. Almost every time we're called out, it's because some pedestrian got hit. Bro, what is up with this crosswalk? Why is it so cursed? You have a crosswalk for people to cross, but then the cars just never stop for it. You're a police officer. You should be stopping and enforcing people to yield to the crosswalk, but you're not. <laughs> why? If that crosswalk's so dangerous, why not remove it? We submitted a request to City Hall. Why didn't they do anything? They did. They put up the sign. Wow, that was so helpful. Thank you. <laughs> An enormous creature jumped out at me at the edge of the woods. Ha! 
First time in deer country, Mr. Hugo? This was no deer. It was brown. Like a deer. Totally silent. Like, like a, deer. a deer. You don't understand. It. Relax, Mr. Hugo. You're not the first to get spooked. I promise the deer will leave you alone if you give them the same courtesy. Listen, man. That, that deer, that was a, I must have been high if I saw that as a deer, bro. Any chance I could take a look inside? I'm something of a... Aspiring mystery writer? How did you... Suspenders. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Hugo. We need to make sure nothing's disturbed. You're just going to have to use your imagination. Writers are good at that, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I can just... Oh, wait. I think I hear screaming. Someone needs help. Where is that? <laughs> Maybe I can ask that uh, afterwards. I, I want to make sure I go through, like, every dialogue option possible before I, like, settle for the next, like, I guess, step in the game. You sure I can't peek in there for just a second? I'm sure, Mr. Hugo. Sheriff's orders. Darn. All right. I think I hear someone screaming. Someone needs help. help hey, officer, me. I think I hear screaming. Someone needs help. I do appreciate your concern, Mr. Hugo, but I don't hear a thing. It's faint, but I'm sure it's there. L listen again. Mr. Hugo, I think you could use a couple more hours of sleep, huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. I definitely hear screaming. If you just go in that other direction and walk away, you will hear it a lot better. Officer, please. I swear there's someone in need. Do your job. Are you really not hearing the screaming? It sounds like it's coming from one block over. Please don't take this the wrong way, Mr. Hugo, but our town does have a world-famous psychiatric sanatorium. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, Mr. Hugo. Nothing at all. Wow. <laughs> all right, I guess that's... Stay safe. That's all the dialogue we have for him. That's pretty funny, though. <laughs> what about this boutique? Or not boutique, that's for flowers. Clothing store. Sumptuous garments for the discerning elitist. It's closed. Well, it was right. It, it is a boutique. Cool. <laughs> Anything else I could do over here? Steal this car, maybe? Yeah, maybe if I commit a crime, like steal this car, I'll get the police officer out of the way. Oh, wow. We have more of the town over here. We have Main Street and First Street. Um, go to Main Street. I shouldn't venture too far from the hotel without a map. That's true. I shouldn't venture too far from the hotel without a map. Okay, fine, fine. What if, what if we what if we just combine the mannequin and the clothes Great. together? How the mannequins dress better than I am. That is true. What if we what if we stick him somewhere? Let's stick the mannequin somewhere, right? Oh wait, wait. There's a hole in the fence here. Can I crawl through this? Oh, I can't do anything with that. No. Uh, what else am I supposed to do now? Can I go through the back entrance? Oh, there's an alleyway here. What if I put the mannequin in the window so that people get scared? That seems pointless. Darn it! I thought that was gonna work. Can I use it on you, sir? I don't see the point. Darn it! Oh, it would've been so cool if I could've used it as a distraction. Just took the mannequin and just whack him with it. <laughs> oh, wait, what if I throw the mannequin on the crosswalk and then he thinks that someone got hit and I'll go check it out? This should look like the real deal to that cop. Here goes nothing. Jesus! Oh my god! Shit! Shit! That wasn't supposed... Oh god, what have I... I... I, I know this man. From my... What is going on? Arby's murderer! Oh no. Oh, good lord! Did you see what happened, Mr. Hugo? I... I, I didn't. I, I heard a crash, and um... This damn crosswalk! Sign's useless! Get back to your hotel, Mr. Hugo. I'll call an ambulance. Yes, officer. Jeez Louise! Holy crap! I just... I just wanted to get into that house. You just murdered a man for it! Oh my god, Harvey! <laughs> what is your problem, man? <laughs> I think now, now I'm gonna have a prediction here, guys. I'm gonna say the heads on the wall are gonna be people that Harvey kill. Everybody who's surrounding him 
will die and that's what all the heads in the plaque are for that's my that's my guess right now you guys can leave a comment down below what do you guys think about it so far but man i did not expect <laughs> this to happen jeez but i think that's a good spot to leave off this episode i think we've made some good progress so far we've explored a little more of the town we caused the demise of this man right here <laughs> God, that's horrible to say. But we know that Harvey, this son of a gunner here, is an actual murderer now and is a crime suspect in this case. Literally just throwing a decoy on the street to cause harm. Don't do that. Don't do that. But we're going to have to continue off in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video. Hit the subscribe button to keep up with the rest of my content and to check out when the next episode comes out. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye, everybody.